What up, guys? So, welcome back to another probably made for kids diecast review. Because the thumbnail in the last diecast review did great. It's a good thing that the thumbnail didn't show the NASCAR diecast. From now on, I'm going to make the thumbnail on the back of the packaging. So, you know, let's get a thumbnail photo. If I could try to take one before I get to the diecast review. So, could you guess what diecast I got? If you're, if you guess Tony Stewart, number 14, Rush Truck Centers, one will one throwback, you're correct, even though it says Clinton Boyer is a throwback to Tony Stewart. So, there's some things I want to point out, and yeah, let's crack open this bad boy. Give it a few seconds there so the first one that comes up is the hood you always want to like look at the hood apparently just because and there it says nascar authentics but let's get to the diecast oh my gosh doesn't it look like the 2011 tony stewart diecast itself like to me it like it feels like i have a 2011 tony stewart car so let's get to the hood so it says Rush Truck Centers on the hood, but on the real car it says Office Depot. Honestly, this throwback was like a more recent throwback. Like back to 2011, it wasn't even that long ago in NASCAR history. That was when Tony Stewart won his third championship. So did you know, like all Stewart House Racing drivers threw back to, Stewart, to Tony Stewart except for Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick, I don't think I had a throwback. So, Clint, so Tony Stewart, did you know, like, in all the championship cars, he beated Roush Fenway Racing in every single one of those, like, in every single championship, the three championships he won, he maxed out Roush Fenway Racing, so, on the front, you get Ford Mustang, and I shouldn't say this, but I did notice some paint chips, and if the camera will focus, hopefully, there we go. Got 14, Mobile One. And then on the bottom, you get Rush Truck Centers. I was dying to get this die cast. Last time I went to that Walmart, the same Walmart, I found this. This was the Walmart I got. It's a different Walmart. I saw that Matt Snyder truck. I wanted to get in. My aunt told me no. I was being forced to wait because, yes, I did get in trouble at that time. And the next time I went there, boom, it's all gone. Because I remember I once rampaged about it. I didn't make a video of it just because I was grounded. So, so here's side. Really, like, it looks like, exactly looks like the Tony Stewart 2011 car. And there's a Rush Truck Centers. And there's the Ford license plate. Mobile one, my finger trying to cover. And the paint chips. I here's a paint chip right here where my finger is at. I don't know if you can see it or not. Apparently Lionel's just so retarded. That's all Lionel does, and no wonder why original Big Bright calls them out. No wonder why. So here's on the roof 14 rush truck centers. And it's a good thing they added the NASCAR Hall of Fame logo. Tony Stewart, um, what does that say? NASCAR Hall of Fame, class of 2020, also. So, Tony Stewart is now going to be in the Hall of Fame soon. About Tony Stewart, he's going to be, um, Tony Stewart's going to run the Xfinity race at Indianapolis later this year on the road course, and... Yeah, so let's get a side-by-side -side comparison to my very first NASCAR diecast. And you can already tell it's chipped and busted up. I found it, like, not too long ago, a couple months ago. And this was this here was my very first NASCAR diecast that my uncle got me on my mom's side of the family. I went over there to spend Christmas with my mom's side of the family, and my uncle got me this Tony Stewart diecast for Christmas. 
and by um by I'm like growing up years this diecast is six years old but in reality it's seven years old like this diecast is seven years old so let's get a look at the side by side comparison to my very first NASCAR diecast and there's Bass Pro Shops. That was way like two years before Bass Pro Shops moved to Tony Stewart. And here's Rush Truck Centers. You're gonna already tell the difference, and you already know the difference. Chevy SS, Ford Mustang, and on the side, you can already tell it's different. Honestly, I love that Tony Stewart Mobile One card. Like it's just like this was my very first diecast. Very first NASCAR diecast. And on the side, like, the side, like, the bottom is a bit different. You're probably wondering why the chips are there, because, yes, I was, like, nine years old. I would constantly, like, I would have, like, like races with it. Like, sometimes it gets busted, make it get involved in the crashes, and I would make freaking racing noises and stuff like that. And and you get the Mobile One. It's a good thing they kept the Mobile One on there. This Clint Boyer is still sponsored Mobile One, so yeah. Um, so the bottom, so right here, it looks a bit similar, but on the scheme, don't let it fool you. It feels like Tony Stewart's diecast hit. I'm mean not diecast paint scheme history, and the back looks a bit similar. The scheme itself, not the car itself. And you get a similar paint paint scheme right here, and then then on the side there's nothing different. Well, the only difference is you're probably wondering why I did that because this one is a bit bigger, but on the other side it's not. So on the roof, and you can already tell this one's a bit like thinner than this one. This one's older and fatter. It says basketball shops and rush truck centers, and on here it says mobile one. And this here says NASCAR Hall of Fame Class of 2020 Tony Stewart. So, yeah. So, if you didn't know, like, I remember when I was, like, nine years old, I wanted to start up a YouTube channel. I pretended I started up a YouTube channel. I was back when I was in third grade. I used to pretend to do a diecast review because I watched too much Eric Eastup. Because, like, Eric Eastup was my favorite at, at that time. And, like, I would say, like... This is like the only part I still remember. Um, I would say like on the hood it says Bass Pro Shops and Mobile One instead of Office Depot. I'm probably gonna. This is probably kind of a recreation. This one probably says Rush Truck Centers and Mobile One instead of Office Depot. Well, I think earlier in the video I said it was Office Depot. Now I can't remember. So, Bass Pro Shops, yep, left Tony Stewart. They're with Austin Dillon, Haley Deegan. Yes, they're still with Haley Deegan for a fact. Um, who else? Kyle Busch Motorsports, Brandon Jones, those drivers. So, thank you all for watching. And let's get a still picture of this. See you all later.